So guys, it breaks my heart to say this, but we only got one more episode. Not even those who have played the game knows how this is going to truly end. And for someone who never played the games, I don't know how it's going to end. We lost, I believe, last week, Popola, who got infected, trying to protect 9S. And these two were made to be at fault for something that they could not control and could not help thousands of years ago before the events of Automata, right? And they've been carrying on that guilt forever just to meet this end, this this demise. And now we have where Ninus is in the tower and we don't know what's awaiting him. And it looks like from the previous episode or this previous, previous, A2 is looking to go to the tower as well. So that's going to be the final showdown. So what will this all lead to? I'm not too sure. And just so you know, it's going to take quite a bit before I'm able to play the game. I'm going to have to get a P5 at this point. The P4 is no more. I mentioned it in last episode, and I think I mentioned it in episode 21. So your girl is going to look like she's going to get a new console in order to play this game. And there's another game. Been here for a while. You'll see a video about that after this. So without further ado, let's get into Near Automata Ver 1.1a, episode 23. Oh, this, oh, the virus. Didn't see you since, since last season. And the same face too, Jesus. Oh, it was it was Popla that survived and didn't get a virus. My thing is, if A2 is going to go into the building, how she's going to gain access? Level four. Oh. How? So anybody can enter the gate then. Oh, I love the structure.
what's in that room? Like, what's the purpose of this tower? Oh, hell no. No, oh no, they playing with you, Nine Nice. Really? Uh oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Yeah, he's gone. He is done. It's done. It's done. Not him taking on the... Since when he can do that? I never knew Nine X can move like that. Oh, that one is up. Why does this look like um where they face Adam and Eve at the first song? Mm, I, you see they right. <laughs> I don't was able to do it. Yeah, she can't hack in. Not her pulling a 9S.
Dang. It's a cannon towards the, the moon is already blown up. Oh, don't tell me. She, she found, yeah. Oh, she's finding out the truth too. I did not expect that. To destroy the oh, that was already written in there. It was all part of the plan. It was all part of. So the bunker was meant to be destroyed. Not him losing an arm. Oh, I figured as much he was going to catch some virus from doing that. Oh. Holograms. Bro, you can't. Don't tell me they're gonna give him. Are we gonna finally get that info? They set out that plan to do- Oh, heck no! What the heck? It will be disposed of. This 
this was just oh oh no oh no oh no You want to become him? Oh no! You're saying it like androids, but more than that? To do what? So y'all want to become the new humans or something? To lead, oh, but go where? So in other words, I mean, the moon was destroyed anyway. The base on the moon was destroyed. Oh, he probably hacked that one. What the heck is going on? I kind of sound like Eisen.
All y'all supposed to wipe out. Yeah, he ain't gonna wanna listen to you. Bro, you don't know about her e oh the virus. Wow. He don't wanna listen to no re no nah, nah, I main perpetrator of all machine life forms was created and it took all the information from that time up until this point and had a hand in creating the project yorha not only because it was humanity but because humanity failed in gaining new host bodies for the survival of humanity um this life form basically the the start of the life forms from the aliens that came down to earth saw all of this gathered the information was building the tower under the earth's crust for the day that it can infiltrate into the project yorha which was created by humans seeing the downfall of humans and everything and made it that there was this countdown eventually for one day where all androids were eliminated off of the face of the earth and as they stated because they know humans go through evolution they, and they studied on humans for centuries they believe by taking out all the your house soldiers who are the closest to humanity would allow them the machine life form the beginning of all machine life forms that was brought down by the aliens will reach a newer uh, a new step in evolution something higher than the androids and they believe the androids was putting a cap on their plan so somehow some way somewhere down the line they infiltrated and they knew all of it and basically they were the i will dare say and i could be 110 percent wrong but i probably think they were the humanity of council and so it led to this, that's why the virus was able to run rampant as easily, easily as it did. And because there's no humans to stop from all of this, you know, evolving more into what it is currently right now. Because they're the ones that created all of this. They're the ones, um, from you, from what your comments told me, was some type of, um, from Drakengard. Um, even though they're all loosely connected and everything, this is what led to the extinction. It was because it was mystical magic and stuff it was dragons <laughs> that led to the extinction but whatever information they were able to gather and build into the sciences and all that um what i'm trying to get at is this thing has been here more than likely since during the early days where humanity was almost on the brink of extinction during the times of popla and diola divola and it just kept growing it took all that information from that time helped to create project yorha and set out for its ultimate demise, um, the whole meaning, and that's why they said earlier this season that like if the androids knew that one humans were extinct, their whole purpose would have been thrown up in flames because then they're gonna be like, what was our purpose of fighting? But by the time they probably would have realized that it would have been too late because the virus was started to eliminate all of them, and now we only have two androids 
left. And then we have the pods. So this is either, I'm thinking, it can go three ways, I think. One of them can be, both of them, A2 and 9S ends up destroying each other. And the the virus, the the beginning of all Android life that wants to shoot itself up to the moon wins. And so now it starts off a whole new brand new way of living on Earth um, where it and other machine life forms can thrive without the needs of androids and humans. Two, um, either or, no, no, 9S survives, A2 dies, and it can still end with 9S taking himself out because what's the point of living if 2B is, is gone and the whole point of androids was for null? The third could be, and you know, the, the life form ends up perishing. There's no launch to the moon. The third could be A2 survives, 9S dies, and she defeats the basically the core of the... Um, the light, machine life forms, the concept, and stopping it from launching itself up to the moon. Um, and she just figures out how does she go about living for her days. Does she try to build something close to like Pascal's village or something of that sort? Or she takes herself out? That can be the third option. That's how I'm looking at it right now. But all of those options are just bitter. Bitter. There's no sweetness, there's no normalness because humanity's gone. All androids, except for these two for now, are gone. Then you have this machine life form that created all the other machine life forms from the aliens. Wants to be the only, as, as it stated, survival of the fittest. It wants to start a whole new brand generation of beings like it. But it needs to take out all, all androids has to be eliminated for its plan to start. So I, I, I don't know, bro. I, I don't know how this is going to end. I doubt the way, they, the way they're going and from your comments every week, it may be a combination of some route endings, but at the same time, it's probably going to come to its very own conclusion. That's going to be different from what you guys seen in the games. Okay, I don't know how this is. I have my three. If anything, remind me at least the day before that, Kimmy, you mentioned these three possibilities. <laughs> and then by the time I upload the video, dang, Kimmy, please do remind me. Keep that as a check mark. Keep this, keep this as a reminder if it's possible um, for this video. Episode 23, Nier Automata Ver 1.1a. Keep that as a reminder because I may end up forgetting myself. But of course, no spoilers. Please, no spoilers. Because if I find a spoiler, don't be surprised if your comment is not there. Okay? I don't care if you said spoiler ahead. Don't even put that. No, I want nothing. I don't know how this is going to go. In all honesty. I don't know. This is the first time, I think, in my history of doing YouTube, or my history of watching anime, history of reading manga playing video games that i've come to the conclusion that i don't know what the hell is going to happen i probably have but this this one takes the cake this takes the cake because you don't know what the heck you're getting into you don't know what's going to happen you think you do and then they go and turn up a, a, a whole 180 on you i don't know bro honestly i like sometimes i can predict on um, what's going to happen but this this, even if I did play the games, I don't think, probably some of you guys can't even predict what's going to happen next episode, the final episode. And you play the games. But do tell me your thoughts down below. I mean, you can still give your predictions, but again, we don't know what's going to happen for the final episode. Links are in the description box, full video. Unedited it will be on my Patreon, so you can go there and watch and join. The support is always greatly appreciated. And stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to do a little reaction and my thoughts on another video game that's getting animated. And it starts with something like a something may cry, okay? And I'm Kimmy Chan, and I'll see you guys later. 
Bye.